Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for um, the end of day session, Wednesday, the 3rd of uh, January 2018. So it certainly seems like a stellar day uh, again. Uh, US markets certainly breaking that key, uh, especially the SP breaking that key 2700 uh, barrier, the uh, NASDAQ ripping higher as well. Uh, what can I say? The uh, the bulls certainly continue to uh, to uh, rage uh, a rampage, shall we say? Uh, the German DAX certainly reverses back above thirteen thousand after hours as well. Very very impressive on the back of news with regards to the uh, the actual coalition potentially talking one another, certainly making some sort of ground there. The latest tweet, or it's not latest, but the tweet that came out during the day. Let's just quickly go through this price. The FOMC. If I can recollect here. Okay, so German party's confidence has risen. Parties are optimistic following discussions between leaders. Obviously, that helped the European equities. Merkel's conservative social democrats have agreed to hold exploratory talks on possible German uh, government from January the 7th. So again, that's, that news certainly helping European equities. As you can see, the uh, the French GAC, the German, German DAX, certainly recovering as well. So certainly helping there in terms of US markets as well, certainly ripping higher. Although the Russell 2000 certainly didn't break higher with the S&P. So there are some concerns there, which I'll be discussing in the US markets or equity market report. Uh, for now, uh, we're sticking to European indices. So uh, the FTSE finishing up 23 points, German DAX finishing up 106 points, French CAC higher. FTSE, MIB, Bybex, everything generally higher across the board. In terms of economic data as well, uh, the European session, I think I covered it uh, in terms of the morning session. You had um, the numbers certainly crossing uh, in terms of uh, Wednesday session today. Uh, German employment data is certainly coming in stronger than expected, certainly helping the cause there. Uh, UK construction data did come out, actually come out weaker and the FTSE was under pressure on the back of obviously a uh, stronger sterling as well. Oil prey. Oil prices, excuse me, oil prices certainly remaining sideways and you have the price of copper as well, certainly giving in uh, from that perspective too. So that's basically where we stand. Uh, US data, mortgage applications certainly came in stronger. Red Book came in stronger. Uh, you had ISM prices paid. Manufacturing numbers certainly came in slightly stronger than expected as well. Construction numbers coming in stronger. FOMC minutes. Um, again, from my perspective, certainly we're hawkish on the hawkish side. So let's see how the uh, the market plays out from that perspective. Now, in terms of the uh, uh, technical picture, let's go to the technicals now, going into tomorrow's trading session. Uh, daily chart on the German DAX, you can see that bottoming tail certainly holding. Let's see how far we can rip higher on the back of uh, Euro still be remaining above 1.20. And obviously, coalition talks certainly have helped. I did actually highlight in the morning. That you are going to uh, potentially hold at 12,750, which really was technically uh, apparent, uh, and you are going to potentially retest the uh, the level at 13,000, and that's exactly what we've done. Uh, the next potential level now is 13,150. Let's see if we can trigger that. Obviously, stronger news or uh, bullish news from the uh, coalition talks. If you get the euro certainly strengthening as well, which in turn will help the euro USD to fall. Uh, the euro to fall that should certainly help although uh, talk of end of qe certainly isn't helping uh, european equity so bear that in mind that's been the theme and that will be the recurring theme as well so just bear that in mind okay again you're in no man's land so uh, there's nothing stopping the german dax going back up to 13300 so just bear that in mind as well okay in terms of 10 minute chart on the uh, german dax you can see that we did rip higher above that to that 13020 before we finally gave in Okay, you've got the unfilled gap below as well, so just bear that in mind. Uh, you've got this key, small diagonal trend line. Let's see if this can hold. Okay, so that's basically a status quo. Uh, if you do retrace, then you are looking at support around 12,950, and then obviously support down here at 12,890 as well. So let's see how long that can hold. The 10 minute chart certainly very technically efficient. You can see that we are resistant at 13,020 around at 13,015, and before we reverse back down. Uh, to uh, certainly finish the session weaker. So let's see how the markets play out tomorrow. Uh, Nasdaq certainly ripping higher. The uh, the actual um, uh, US equities very very buoyant, folks. Very very bullish. Okay. Let's see how that how long that lasts as well. Okay. Um, let's see if we can sustain that level of uh, strength. Okay. In terms of the uh, French CAC, let's have a look at the French CAC certainly ripping higher as well. Um, German daily chart, obviously 200 MA was always expected, retesting that key diagonal 
uh, or should we say symmetrical wedge breakout so let's watch out there 60 minute chart you are into that key resistance line you've got fib 61 percent so bear that in mind i did explain that we were going to potentially retrace 5330 potentially even test that 5350 zone so this is a level that i'll look looking to potentially short going into tomorrow in terms of european equities had quite an impressive bounce so bear in mind that fib retracement resistance okay 10 minute chart on the french cac uh, again we've certainly ripped higher okay very impressive uh, again previous support equals resistance around the 5350 zone so that's an area to, to show if obviously we get bearish news and you are looking to potentially close this gap here at uh, 5290 uh, so watch out there again support seen further down at 5260 as well okay let's see how this market plays out from that perspective okay folks this is basically where we stand at present okay so let's see how the market plays out here in terms of the uh, other indices let's move on to the FTSE 100 now let's start off with the daily chart first and foremost okay uh, inside bar on the FTSE again we've broken out you have to respect that to a large extent 7600 breakout very impressive on the FTSE itself 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100 we have held FIB 75 percent although we did hit a pivot high of 7690 which really is quite kind of strange one of the reasons why I shorted today at 7690 my stop loss is above that pivot high at 7700 so let's see how that plays out as well uh, overnight let's see how the FTSE responds okay let's see if this HS formation actually uh, plays out now one of the only only argument for the FTSE uh, HS playing out obviously is uh, potential weakness in oil given the fact that uh, Kim Jong is starting to talk now with the uh, South Koreans again that could certainly uh, help the cause but let's see how if that how long that lasts again is certainly debatable as well okay so bear that in mind okay so uh, right shoulder on the uh, 60 minute chart let's see how that plays out 10 minute chart on the FTSE uh, at the moment certainly impressive given the fact that we did build this base here um, the potential gap levels around this zone but again building a base here built a base here as well okay around that 7640 zone then we ripped high to 7690 in the back of obviously German coalition talks certainly coming out better than expected and US equities ripping higher as well so it really is a um, uh, fair game I mean it's um, bulls and bears certainly uh, obviously arguments on both sides at present okay but for now my stop loss remains above 7700 looking for a weaker index okay so going forward that's my interpretation thus far okay so uh, where do we stand then for the remainder of the uh, week interesting okay let's see how the market's positioned okay you've got uh, stronger german inflation numbers you've got stronger german employment numbers you've got talk of the end of qe you've got euro above 1.2 sterling certainly move, moving higher as well uh dollar certainly weaker etc etc now the arguments are there let's see how the market obviously uh, transpires chinese data are overnight let's see how that shakes things up okay uh, we've got uh, a lot of uh, PMI numbers are coming out tomorrow with regards to Eurozone. Uh, UK data as well in terms of the money supply and the PMI as well. Uh, ADP numbers from the US and jobless claims as well uh, and also PMI numbers. So it should be an interesting day tomorrow. A lot of volatility in the FX markets and let's see how the uh, FTSE can uh, perform, whether it can break through that 7, 700 barrier. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of that bonus. And be sure to download the latest app at Trade Signal. Goodbye now.